Hi, I'm Gordy with Northern Rifle Accurizing. I thought I'd show you a few of the things that we, we do here. Um, Northern Rifle Accurizing implies accuracy, and that's the main thing we do. Uh, we, we build rifles, and then we do a lot of everything else. Uh, we, uh, we can either start with a brand new receiver and uh, of any make that you want, and uh, we'll build your rifle from there, or if you've got a rifle that's shot out, we can take the barrel off and uh, put a, a new barrel on. Uh, we can <clears throat> put any kind of a barrel on if you want, uh, uh, anything from a, a heavy target barrel down to a, a sporting barrel. Uh, most of the barrels we get are, <clears throat> are basically a big piece of pipe with a with a hole in it and what we do we we blueprint the barrel along with the receiver so we take and redo the, the barrel to make sure that the outside of the barrel is concentric with the center line of the bore we take and, and cut the ends off and put in new centers and then turn the shank so that it is perfectly concentric and then with the <coughs> with the receivers we most of your factory receivers uh, can all use some tweaking so what we do is we <coughs> take your receiver and go inside and through the the lugs so that the internal lugs are perfectly square with the center line of the bore and then we take and, and redo the threads so that the threads are are concentric and we, we do the face of the receiver so that's perfectly square and then the the bolt we also true the lugs so that they're they're perfectly squared up and redo the face so that when we put the action together everything is concentric and made it up and then with the barrel <coughs> that's been squared so when everything goes together it's as true as we can uh, we can get it, and uh, we can uh, do um, basically any part that you need done. Uh, accuracy is a whole bunch of little things that uh, uh, you can't just do one thing and not do another thing to get your accuracy. You've got to do all these little steps. So that the end product is 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 as accurate as you can get them. Uh, once you do your action and your barrel and everything there, uh, of course, uh, trigger has got a lot to do with it. We have a lot of aftermarket triggers that we can um, put a good trigger in and and get the best out of it that you can. Also, bedding is is very important. Uh, most all stocks have to be bedded, whether it's a, a wood stock or a, or a uh, synthetic stock. And a lot of the stocks are, nowadays a lot of these synthetics are uh, more or less a throwaway stock. So we, we stock a lot of different stocks on hand. The synthetics that we use are, uh, have an aluminum bedding block for, for uh, rigidity. And then to the uh, <coughs> these also need to be bedded so that you get all the accuracy out of them that you can get. And uh, a big thing that we're doing now is uh, is brakes. We uh, the brake that we do is one that we we make here and we we make it so that it matches the contour of the barrel. Uh, and it's uh, it's a special type of brake where the ports are only on the top of the barrel and they're ported seven degrees forward. The uh, most of the brakes that you see have the ports all the way around the, the, the brake and they're ported straight out the side and out the bottom. And what happens is the <coughs> the gas is coming out will will stir up snow and, and dirt. And the, the 90 degree ports will 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 give you a good blast uh, out to the side. Uh, these, <clears throat> with the porting just on the top and forward, all your blast will go up and away from you. 
and recoil uh, is is pretty much eliminated. Uh, you can take a oh like a 300 wind mag and uh, recoil would be about like a 243, and you'll have virtually no muzzle jump. You can you can actually watch the the uh, actually watch the bullet hit uh, with this type of a break on it, and uh, it's we can basically take. Uh, uh, your rifle, say if you have a factory rifle now and you can't handle the recoil, what we do is just take your, your rifle and we thread the end of it and then we, we put the, uh, the brake on it. It just screws on and then we time it so that it's, it's centered up with the center of your receiver so your ports are, are on the top of the barrel and uh, then we machine it down to match the, the contour of your barrel so it kind of looks like it's, it's all a part of the barrel. Uh, some of your lightweight sporters uh, in the bigger calibers we can't quite get them that small so you might end up with a slight rise on the end. Uh, this one here I think is a 300 uh, Weatherby mag but with something like this on it, a 300 Weatherby is, uh, is really nice to, to shoot. And uh, we, uh, we can also, uh, we can also uh, do all sorts of different metal finishing. Uh, some of this stuff was just uh, stuff that we're working on here and uh, it's, it's not finished yet uh, most of the time. As soon as we get it finished, it's out the door, so we don't have a lot of finished stuff to to show. Uh, we can. This is a polished stainless. Uh, we can either do uh, polished stainless or a bead blasted uh, stainless finish, or we, we're now offering stainless steel bluing uh, too. So, uh, and then we also do regular bluing and parkerizing and and all the other stuff. So. Uh, this is kind of the basics of what we do. We, we do a lot of other things here at Northern Rifle, uh, but uh, for our hunting rifles, this is uh, the main thing we do. Thank you.